diamond She's a diamond girl She's a diamond Diamond, diamond, diamond Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a get to know me Q&A video um, on this channel I post mainly hair videos so like I do hair blends braiding tutorials I've done a little bit of vlogs and just a tiny bit of beauty content but I never really did like a formal introduction video and so I thought this was a good time to get on here and do that and get a little personal with you guys and so that's what I'll be doing here today I had asked you guys uh, maybe a year ago to ask me some questions and then I'll answer in a video I never got to it and then over some time I had some other questions just randomly here and there that other people that people would ask and so I kind of just made a little quick list but I'm going to just answer some of those questions here and before I get started with that I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers I'm so thankful I'm so grateful and I can't even believe that we are here when I started this channel can y'all believe like when you start a channel you start from zero and I went from zero to 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 to 50,000 to now 60,000 subscribers. And it's just unbelievable when you really sit there and you think about it. Like 60,000 people came across my content and hit the subscribe button because they thought it would benefit them in some type of way. And they wanted to see more from me. 60,000 people. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much. I can only hope that I continue to provide helpful content, um, whether that be informative, whether that be relaxing videos, whether that be just fun, whatever that I can provide for you guys. And I just hope that I can be able to give back to you guys just for continuing to support this channel. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Just to start out, my name is Princess Diamond, and that is my real name. Princess is my first name. Diamond is my middle name. I usually, I go by Princess. The majority of people call me Princess. That's because that was the name that I went by in school and so a lot of friends would call me will call me princess um but family members close people normally i go by diamond i don't really mind which whichever way you refer to me as as long as it's one or the other princess or diamond those are my names okay so uh first question here how old are you uh do i want to answer this how old do y'all think i am I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess how old you think I am, and then I'll let you know. And comment down below how old you think I am before I say y'all no cheating. I wanna see if y'all can guess correctly. I am 27. <laughs> I'm 27 years old, I'm going to be 28 years old this March. I'm a Pisces baby. Um. Okay, where are you located? Ever since I put out my soft locks tutorial and the um, two feet and braid tutorial, I've been getting tons of questions about where am I located? And I'm, I'm about to just start putting it under every description of the video, but I am located in Iowa, you guys. And I know majority of you guys are not in Iowa, but yeah, I'm tucked, I'm tucked away here in Iowa. It's very cold out here. Actually, Iowa's weather is just so, it's crazy. Like we can go from 53 degrees in the dead of winter to negative 10 degrees within two days. It's crazy. Right now it's really cold and this week it's supposed to warm back up to 34. I think it's like maybe two degrees right now and it's supposed to warm up to 34 degrees this week. So that just goes to show how Iowa weather is. Y'all can come save me and take me somewhere else at any time. How many tattoos and your story behind them? Um, how many tattoos do I have? I have one on the back of my neck. I have one right here, that's two. One on my arm, that's three. One on my shoulder, that's four. And then one on the back of my shoulder, that's five. So I have five tattoos. Um, do I wanna get into the stories? Because two of my tattoos are horrible. 
Um, I got them when I was... I think I got them when I turned 16 years old. Just bad tattoos. I don't even want to talk about them. Maybe I'll save that for another video. Where is your salon? I don't braid. I don't work out of a salon. I braid at home. Um, I used to work in a salon for a very short period of time. And then I went back to doing hair at home. When did you learn or start braiding? I have been braiding for as long as I can remember. I don't remember when I started or how I learned how to braid. I just know I've always knew how to braid. But I really started braiding my, I started braiding my own hair in middle school. I knew how to braid before then, but I actually started doing my own hair when I was in middle school. And when I was in middle school, I wasn't really, I didn't really have anyone that would keep up with my hair. You know, I was natural. So it was really hard. I didn't really have any knowledge of how to maintain my hair so I would put it in a ponytail. It was just all bad. It was short, it was damaged, it was all bad. But I had a friend who had commented on my my ponytail. My ponytail was like maybe this little, but she had commented on it one day when I came to school. She, she was just making fun of it. Uh, she was like, damn, your ponytail's so little. So then when I went home, I just, I, I was like, I gotta do something with my hair. Like I refuse to keep coming to school with my hair looking like this. And so I started braiding my own hair from that day on forth. Now of course I still have my bad hair days, but I was really grateful for knowing how to do my hair because we know, especially in middle school, like our self-esteem is huge. So me just knowing how to do my hair and being able to uh, take care of it when I was as young as I was in middle school was a total blessing. So I started with just doing like uh, cornrows. You know, we do like the cornrows halfway and we put rubber bands. I, I did that and then put the rest in a ponytail. And then I started adding extensions to it and I would still just braid it halfway and then uh, braid the rest. And then the back, I would do like box braids. And then at the end, I would curl it. And people would see, people would see my braids and they would always comment on it and they would always ask me, who did your hair? And I'm like, I did my hair. And people, even adults, they were so surprised and I just started getting people who would ask me to do their hair. It really started in high school though. And at that point, like I was doing it for dirt cheap, if not, no charge at all. And so I would just take, I would do friends' hair, um, I would do close people who I knew. And then I kind of just started, not really taking it serious, but I kind of started like, trying to make it out of a side hustle in like 2013, I wanna say, was when I was really looking for clients and trying to get people to come to me to do their hair. And that's when I actually started putting like a price point on my work. I kind of, that kind of slowed down and then it picked back up again, maybe like two years later, I started taking it serious again. I've always been a part-time braider though. I never really was, I never really was a full-time braider. I've only braided full-time uh, when I was laid off from my job. This was in 20, the end of 20, yeah, the end of 2018, beginning of 2019 is when I was laid off from the job that I was working. So for about three, four-ish, five-ish months, I, was, uh, I wasn't working, but I was still getting, I was receiving severance pay, so I wasn't really worried about money. However, I was just being so lazy, you guys, and I just, I was bored out of my mind. So I was like, okay, well, if I can get myself out of the house, so I had to force myself to do something. So I said, well, I think this would be a good chance to go work in a shop because when you're working in a shop, you have to pay booth rent. And so that's going to force you to try to get as many clients in as you can, which it did. So me being in the shop really forced me to just get out of the house and really be doing something and moving around those couple of months that I was not working. But it was so, it was so hard on my body physically. I told you guys in a previous video, but I had to get shots in my wrist because they pretty much just gave out. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't braid for like just a couple weeks. I had to get some shots and I had to take a break. And then I just realized, I said, okay, no, I can't braid full time. Like it's too hard on my body, but I do enjoy braiding. So it's something that I never really wanted to give up. Even when I try, like there would be times where I'm like, I'm just gonna take a break from braiding. I will always come back. Okay, I think that was very, a very long form answer, but yeah, that's pretty much how I started, um, how I got into braiding. Next question is, what are you? So I am, 
half Liberian and um, half Sierra Leonean. I came to the U.S. when I was five years old and I have been here ever since in Iowa. I don't know why Iowa was picked, but that's what was picked. That's what, um, <laughs> that's where I came. And I just haven't had any reason to move out of here. I have my family here, I have my close friends here, and so I just stuck to, to what I'm used to, really. So yeah, like I said, I'm half Liberian, half Sierra Leonean. I can speak small Liberian English, but my Liberian English not not too strong. And I don't speak um, Creole, but I can hear Creole just fine, I just don't speak it. And I don't, I don't speak any other language, so <laughs> that's it. My mom once told me that I used to speak French and Wolof. So when I was a kid, this was like when I was five and under, I used to speak a little bit of French, a little bit of Wolof. When I came to, when I got into high school, when I had the opportunity to take, to learn a second language, I said, well, it only makes sense for me to learn French. Let me see if I can pick back up where, you know, I was and see if I can remember anything. Y'all, I don't remember a single thing, but it is one of my goals to, um, to learn French again. <laughs> Somebody said, why are you so fine? Actually, the person that asked me this question is one of my old clients. Oh my gosh, I miss her so much. She moved, I think to Texas, if I'm not mistaken, maybe somewhere else, but she moved state. Um, she used to come to me and I just loved hanging out with her. We didn't really hang out, I just did it here. But I just loved our conversations and I just, I, I just always looked up to her. She was so pretty to me. Um, she was so inspirational. She's just like one of those like boss chicks. So girl, if you're watching this, you know who you are. I love you. I miss you so much. I wish you would come and let's just hang out one day or whatever. Ah, I love you. Someone asked me, do you want any more kids? If y'all know me personally, y'all know the answer to that. <laughs> so I have three kids. My oldest son, his name is DJ. Um, my oldest daughter, her name is Isabella. And then Imani, she's my youngest little baby. She's three years old, your baby. But she's my last one. It ain't going further than that. That's it. I love them to death. They mean the world to me. Um, but they have taken up all the space in my heart. There is no room for any more. That's it. Just three. No more. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I'm good. Um, what is your favorite cuisine? African cuisine, hands down, my Liberian food, that's my go-to, so that's number one. And then number two would be Asian cuisine. Y'all know what I recently just got into? My cousin put me on, and y'all, I have been hooked. It's papaya salad. If y'all like spicy food, y'all gotta try papaya salad. If you try it, y'all let me know if y'all if y'all like it or, or what y'all think of it, but I love papaya salad. And that has been my newest addiction. And there's a restaurant that my cousin put me on, but it's a ways from me, it's pretty far. And I just can't, you know, make it over there. So I found another restaurant and y'all, I've been ordering from there like three days in a row. It's bad, it's really bad, I need to stop. But y'all, it's so good. It's really hot though, but I love it. What inspires you? Um, What inspires me? I don't know, I would say challenges. I, I like to be challenged. I like to beat the odds. And I like to just be able to see where I've came from. I like to see how far I've came and how far I know I can go. Um, so every time I achieve a new accomplishment, it just motivates me even more. I'm like, okay, well, if I can do this, then I know I can do that. If I can do this, then I know I can do that. Especially with me being a single mom of three kids, I feel like it's very challenging. But I'm the type of person is I don't like to make excuses for myself when I want something, I want it, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. And sometimes those things are not good things, but it just goes to show like just how driven, how motivated I am, and how hardworking I am, and I love that about myself. So yeah, I just love a good challenge. I love anything that can push me. And I love just being able to overcome um, different obstacles and just prove that there is nothing in this world that can stop me from achieving whatever it is I want and getting wherever I want to go. How tall are you? Um, I like to say that I'm 5'5". Five, five. I don't really know my exact height. I think I'm 5'5", five, five, though. I'm around that height. And I, and I like to say that I'm like average height. However, I do wish I was a little shorter. I feel like I be towering over a lot of my friends, but a lot of my friends, they're just short, to be honest. I think I'm average height. <laughs> what food can you not stand? Okay, one food, 
specifically that I can just think of off the top of my head I cannot stand is sushi. I don't see how so many people like sushi. I tried to cook sushi. I tried raw sushi. Oh, I can't do it. I don't know how y'all do it. It's okay, y'all can have it, y'all can have it. Someone said, I noticed you read, what's your favorite book or a good book recommendation? Um, The Alchemist, that has been my all time favorite so far. I just feel like that book is jam packed with so much wisdom and I feel like it's something that I can read time and time and time and I feel like there's, there's things that I can come back to it in three months and read it again and it'll be something new popping out at the page that I didn't really notice or didn't catch the last time that I read it. And I feel like the book is just like, every page is filled with something that you can apply to your life, that you can apply to yourself to help you to grow, to help you to be motivated, to help you to keep going in life. I just really love the book. I love how it's written in like a fiction form, um, but it's like self-help at the same time. And shameless plug, you guys, I do have a, a, a booktube channel. I started like a couple months ago. So if you guys are interested in book recommendations or seeing what type of books that I read, what's my reading style, all that, you guys can have, head over to that channel. Um, I will link it down in the description below. But yeah, that's, that's a little about me. I've seen so many people say like if I do a face to face video they'll say finally I can put a face to the voice and I feel like I don't do a lot of like face to face sit down videos, I don't do a lot of talking videos, I definitely haven't done any get to know me type style videos so I hope you guys have enjoyed just getting to know me a little more. Uh, if you guys have any more questions that you want me to answer maybe in depth or any other questions in a future video, I would love to do it. Drop it down in the comments and I'll try to do a future, a future video for you guys. Um, let me know if there's anything maybe that took you by surprise that you didn't know about me or that you wouldn't have guessed about me. Leave it down in the comments and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you guys stay blessed, stay protected, and stay filled with love and peace. Bye guys!